name is Ross Gunn, I was born January the 1st, 1997, and I'm a single-seater racing driver. I started go-karting at the age of six and started racing at eight. During my years karting, I got some success, started racing nationally towards the end of my karting career. Ross Gunn it is, who's going to grab the chequered flag. I managed to win two British Championships and finish fourth in the Rotax World Finals at the end of 2012. So I could call myself the fourth best junior driver in the world, which is a fantastic achievement. In 2013, we decided to move into the BRDC Formula 4 Championship. All the races were on ITV4. But it was fantastic to be on the TV in front of a million viewers. Didn't do much testing pre-season as it was quite hard to find a driver and get the money together. But in the end we managed to win two races with the Motion Sport team. The Silverstone Grand Prix circuit is absolutely brilliant. There's some cracking corners that they've got. So that puts Ross Gunn on pole and with a chance to fight for his second win of the season. There's no better feelings than winning a car race. A dominating performance from Ross Gunn as the chequered flag falls. I was up on the podium and they showed that on the TV as well, which was nice. Did a little celebration. I think the adrenaline was still pumping at that point. All the eyes of the press and everything are on you when you win and there's a lot of attention around you which can be quite nice. The newspapers report about it and people do take more of an interest into your racing agenda which can be quite nice, especially if it's people that are quite high up the most sport ladder. I've been praised by people like Christine Horner from Red Bull Racing and some people at his Arden GP2 and GP3 team have given me praise when I was doing simulator stuff there. Whenever you win, you can't ever be complacent and big-headed. Feed off the extra motivation that you would have got from that win. Try and enjoy the win, but still continue to work hard. Don't ever rest on your laurels. I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to motorsport. I tend to watch British Touring Cars and F1 all the time. My all-time goal has been Formula 1 and it will stand for quite some time. The ladder to Formula 1 starts from karting, then it goes to BRDC Formula 4, after that it tends to be Formula 3, and then it's GP3 that runs alongside F1 as a support, and then GP2 which is again on the support programme of Formula 1, and there it is Formula 1. I'd be very open to a career in GT racing or touring car racing if I was offered the chance. But for now, I'm concentrating on single-seater racing. That's where I want to be over the next few seasons and see if we can build something there. It is vital that you have a very strong sponsorship package behind you that will enable you to race non-stop, test non-stop. It's all getting the sponsorship together and, and knowing the right people and building really good relationships. Consistently trying to be there and showing your nose and being at the front and winning in all these junior categories. That's the best way that you can ever be spotted and that's what I will continue to aim for.